a rock. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the rock. Did I get you? A freaking rock. A freaking rock. You know, if there's somebody I would love to punch, I, you know, who, I don't know who the hell to punch. A freaking rock. This is what the so-called genius that Bob Shapek, quote-unquote, talked about. The genius. And this is the stuff that she has coming out of her ass. An asexual Han Solo who uh, drives the vessel. You know... <laughs> you know, if you're wondering why I'm laughing, it's like I feel it's like, it's like one of those moments where you're somewhat gone insane because you've just seen the same thing over and over and over again to the point where you just aren't surprised. And it's just a kaboom moment. And even Star Wars, even Gina Carano firing defenders should freaking acknowledge how dumb this is getting. A freaking rock. Screw you, Star Wars High Republic. Give us the old Knights of the Republic back. Bring back all the lore that we already had made for the past 20 or something years. Bring that all back. Screw the High Republic. Fire all the writers, even if some of them are good. Maybe keep those ones. But God. And give her to Christian Ariel, that goddamn jerk. Freaking piece of garbage in person she is. Yeah, you can quote me on that. Because she is a piece of garbage human being with some of the stuff she said. Really, they can't go one damn day. Star Wars and Lu- or Lucasfilm can't go one goddamn day without a con- without su- doing something stupid and, and and crapping the bed all over themselves. Gina Carano firing. Then you, now you have the Rock thing. Then you have the Disney stock crashing. And you got all the videos getting ratioed to hell. The comments all with Gina Carano quotes. And people dis- uh, canceling the Disney Plus. People, uh, people in Lucasfilm pre- uh, c- uh, celebrating Gina Carano's firing. Then you have the Imagineer celebrating it. Then you have Rob Shapek saying that Kathleen Kennedy's a genius. He went out of his way to say that, by the way. George, I've said this probably a hundred times, but why the frick did you trust your damn company to this? Vile person. Why? Why, 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 why? I mean, I've already, I've already, I've already lost my mind because I, yeah, I did the freaking gym, but I mean, it's just, it's amazing how stupid, okay? I can't say it enough. I can't believe sometimes how stupid some of these people are. Movies are gonna are declining. TV shows are declining. If you have a good show, everyone's gonna freaking re- going to force diversity onto it because everyone doesn't want it to be good. They want it to be filled with diversity. Oh my! There's a difference between diversity and crap. All right. 
I'm all for diversity, but diversity done right. What the people have been spewing out of their asses, it's not diversity. It's just their political opinions being shoved down your throat constantly. Like a guy at the psych ward who's on, uh, a guy at the psych ward who has to have, like, um, his, his mouth, like, they have to put, like, a, this metal thing to keep him from closing his mouth, and they shove food down his throat, something like that. I've already said this, but really, they're going to go after the Obi-Wan series. They're going to go after the Ahsoka series. They're going to go after the Acolyte series is already going to be trash. We already all know that. The Acolyte series is going to be dead before it even hits the, hit, hits the screen. Lando, they're going to do the same thing to the Lando series, the same thing to the droid series. <laughs> I mean, I'll say this once, I'll say it again. The only reason I'm going to watch the freaking Bad Batch is because I still trust Filoni. And I, I, I doubt he would freaking let all this get into his show. And if, he, they, if, it does, if it does get into the show, I'd imagine he only did it because he was forced to. The dark side will, will fall eventually. The dark side will fall eventually. That's what I got to say.